Hi, Lima Cedar, speaking to you from LimaCedar.com and who is Lima Cedar? Today the date is July 22nd, 2005. The time right now is 2 in the morning and uh, just happened to read the news. Mr. 50 Cent, he testifies the reality of his wealth. Apparently, it says here, after filing for bankruptcy last week, 50 Cent, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, appeared in a Manhattan Supreme Court. Supreme Court, all right? Not that's the highest. On Tuesday morning to testify that he's not as wealthy as his flashy lifestyle appears or makes him to be. Now, while Forbes estimated the rapper's fortune to be around 155 million in May, Jackson's lawyer stated in the court that his client's worth is actually only 4.4 million dollars. Okay which presents a problem, especially after he was hit last week with a 5 million verdict for publishing a sex tape starring his rival Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend. Now, Mr. Curtis Jackson, why do you have to be so stupid? Number one, the biggest stupidity is, why do you want to portray that you're so larger than life? Okay, fine, you want to portray that, agreed, but then why aren't you intelligent? I mean, you're portraying to the whole world you're larger than life so that you have so many followers and people go crazy about you. But then you're not able to, you know, be careful because you're living in a eggshell. It's, it's your, your, your fortress is as thin as an eggshell. And now it seems here, Jackson explained to the court that while his social media accounts may be filled with flashy photographs, I take jewelry and cars back to the stores. That is so stupid. That is absolutely so stupid. I mean, what Curtis Jackson has done is he has told the truth and now this is going to destroy his brand forever. Because once you lie to the public, once you tell the public that you are a fake, you are a fraud, that you are not real, you are finished. Nobody is going to trust you ever again. In fact, there have been so many people uh, who faked their real image and once you have done that, once you lose people's trust, you can never get it back. When the judge asked the rapper about his 38 million in record sales, Jackson explained, I make just 10 cents a record. Wow. Wow, that is bad. That is seriously bad. So on 38 million, let's say 38 million, 38 uh, million. So that's, let's see how many zeros is that. Let me just give you an account okay 38 million if you actually look at a calculator calculator so in 38 million 38 million 300 and 38,000 380,000 this is 3 million 38 million so it just moved two zeros so divided by 100 okay so you only made 380,000 380,000 my dear friend you are in serious trouble Jackson also said that he made just $100,000 for two movies he's currently signed in, which is Spy and Southpaw, for his current role on the star's hit series Power, which is also an executive producer. Jackson only pocketed from $150,000 for the first two seasons. Despite the filing, Jackson did admit that he recently threw cash around at a Florida strip club and bought a Rolls Royce on July 4th. Now, why are you stupid enough to do that? Why would you want to buy a Rolls Royce when you're hardly earning, like, uh, you know, just half a million a year. I took the two others back in order to buy it, according to New York Times, I think. NYPM, I don't know what's that, okay. During the testimony, Jackson also stated he was worried that his brand has been tarnished since the bankruptcy filing last week, saying that now that I filed for bankruptcy, I'm not as cool as I did last week. You're worried about your brand, you don't have to be worried. You have to be destroyed because there's nothing to worry about your brand is finished. 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson, your brand is destroyed. The problem is, once you destroy a brand, once you tell the public that you're a fake, there's no way people are going to believe you. It's going to be like Jordan Belfort. Once he showed that he's, he's gone, nobody believed him once again. Jackson also did manage to say a minor apology to Lastonia Leviston, what a name, who was awarded $5 million after he allegedly published a sex tape in which he is featured without her consent. I'm sorry if I feel like I heard you. Well, 
for five million she's not going to accept the apology but uh, if you don't take the money back she'll accept the apology because man why would you want to publish a sex tape without someone else's permission uh, you know that was dumb since the bankruptcy final last week 50 cent has been vocal about trying to get out of paying leviston no, no, no. i need protection 50 cent explained while appearing on tbs conan you get a bullseye painted on your back when you're successful and it's public. You become the ideal person for lawsuits. See, you know, Curtis, I feel for you, man. I really do. It's, I know you were trying to portray larger than life. You made this big mistake. Uh, maybe she agreed or to have the sex tape published, but you didn't take a written consent. And now, because you portrayed your larger than life, obviously everyone wants to sue you. And it's, it's sad and it's a shame because now, when people know that you don't have any money, maybe they'll not sue you or maybe they will, but you will lose all your fans, you lose all your admirers, you lose those fake people who are chasing you for your money. Um, you know, my, my advice to anybody is simply this, don't try to be who you're not. Be who you are, be true to yourself. Just be yourself. Uh, if, you, if you're gonna portray something fake and then people find out that that is not who you are, they're gonna feel cheated. Um, it's it's a very sad thing. It's a very sad thing what has happened to 50 Cent. Personally speaking, I don't think he's ever going to come back. It's finished. It's over. This is going to be the last of 50 Cent and I doubt he's ever going to make it through this damage. So, it's sad. But this is what I believe. This is my opinion. I don't know what you think. So, let me know what you think live from livemissido.com because I think 50 Cent is finished. It's over. He's never going to make a comeback. Live from LoyMasida.com and NewsLoyMasida.com signing off for now.